Donkey today for Tuesday, August 15th goes the former Raiders icon, Tim Brown. I used to love playing with him in Tecmo Bowl, by the way. Run with Bo Jackson and throw to Tim Brown. Uh, former Green Bay Packer tight end, Jermichael Finley, and CNN commentator, Paris Denard. Please hand me my teacup, okay? Uh, you know the sunken place is very crowded. It's filled with these delusional Negroes who, for whatever reason, can't see the bigger picture when it comes to the injustices that marginalize and oppressed groups face in this country. Some people think, hey, man, you good. You know, you personally are good, so why ruin that by standing up for other people, okay? If any of our ancestors who came before us thought like that, then none of us would be here today. But anyway, three new entries to the sunken place. First and foremost, Jermichael Finley, who told TMZ Sports that Michael Bennett, Marshawn Lynch, and Colin Kaepernick need to be controversial to stay relevant. Let's hear it. I think it's more of, you know I mean, marketing. It, it's not really in their heart um, that they really want to do that. But once again, I think it's a selfish reason. I really do. I think go out and play football and do what you're supposed to do and not worry about the, the worldly things that's going on. It was a marketing tool. You know what I mean? I was on this platform where I can use my name, my face to get out there. And, and when hot topics come across, I want to jump on it because it's a marketing tool. It's going to keep you relevant. It's going to keep you hot. Okay, first of all, Michael Bennett and his brother Martellus, uh, you know, their philanthropy was just recognized at the BET Awards this year. Michael Bennett is donating all of his 2017 endorsement money to charities that support inner city programs. Is he doing that for publicity as well? No. Is he doing that for relevance? Marshawn Lynch always goes back and devotes his time and money to the kids in Oakland. He has an organization called the Fam First Family Foundation, which aims to improve the lives of children by mentoring them on the importance of education, literacy, and self-esteem. He's been doing that for about 10 years now. Is he doing that for selfish reasons? as well is that just a marketing ploy and Colin Kaepernick the guy has given over 700 grand of his own money to 24 different organizations in the past year and he don't even have a job okay Jermichael I don't see anything selfish about any of those things those young men are doing okay so Jermichael I need you to shut the F up forever please now Tim Brown also was talking to TMZ Sports and he had this to say about Marshawn Lynch sitting for the national anthem he has the perfect thing going on in Oakland. Why bring negativity to this incredible positive situation? So I, I don't know. I just I just don't get it. I you know I understand these guys, man. They're trying to make statements and they're trying to you know be a part of this world. But football is where people go to get away from all that stuff. Because outside of the stadium, he can do whatever he wants to do. Tim, Tim Brown, y'all don't have CNN in the, in the sunken place. You don't have social media in the sunken place. You don't see what's going on in the world. You have no idea why Marshawn Lynch would be sitting for the national anthem. You think because Marshawn has a positive thing going on in Oakland that he should just ignore what's happening to other black and brown people all across the country, huh? Tim Brown said, I understand these guys, man. They're trying to make statements and they're trying to be a part of this world. Why is Tim Brown talking like he's on another planet? Whatever planet you are on, Tim, where the things happening in this world don't affect you, your family, all your friends, all black and brown people that look like you, you let me know so I can move there. Now, last but not least, Paris Denard, CNN commentator. Uh, he's one of those people who will never speak negatively about our celebrity in chief, Donald Trump. Trump can do no wrong in his eyes. According to Paris Denard, Donald Trump always denounces hate groups in America, always denounces white supremacy, even though yesterday was the first time any of us Heard him do that. Let's hear what Paris had to say. The president disavowed back in March. He made a very bold statement two days ago, and he clarified the statement and went further today. I have no issue with what the president said, because I think what the president said was correct. When it comes to his associations with Steve Bannon and other people like that, there is no evidence, there are no facts and no proof that Steve Bannon is whispering in his ear telling him not to disavow, not to say these things, because what we know is the president has disavowed. The president has called these people out and said and called them by name, which is something President Obama did not do after Charleston. What's that keep ticking noise? Is, is that us or is that That's them? from Get Out. That's the oh, teacup. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, for you too if you need it. Oh, uh, I'm good. Now, what the hell is he talking about? Paris Denard, okay? He had the nerve to bring up what Barack didn't say after the Charleston shootings, okay? Um, I am convinced they don't have TVs in the sunken place because if they did, Paris would have referenced the eulogy President Obama gave in Charleston, where he referenced the racial biases in America and why the Confederate flag should come down, which he did over the State House in Columbia. Uh, sir, President Obama sang Amazing Grace and summed up the mood of a nation during that speech perfectly. He built bridges that day, something your president, Donald Trump, could never do because he's too busy building walls.
Now, ironically, Cornell West summed it all up perfectly when he was talking to Paris Denard on CNN because what these brothers don't understand is Michael Bennett, Marshawn Lynch, Colin Kaepernick are all doing things that are bigger than them, okay? See, they don't have to do any of these things they are doing. But when you care more about the betterment of your people and people, period, then you don't care about things like job security. You tend to take those risks, okay? Can we hear about, can we hear what Brother Cornell told Paris that puts a button on this donkey perfectly, please? This is life and death, man. This ain't no game we playing. This ain't no puzzle for people to keep their jobs. There's human beings out here who are suffering, and we got a neo-fascist movement escalating, and if we can't focus on the truth, then we just give up on the American project and be honest and say, we just want to keep our jobs. Please give the three latest members of the sunken place, Chair Michael Finley, Tim Brown, and Paris Denard, the biggest hee-haw, please. <coughs> <coughs>